After the tragedies in 9-11, uh, hysteria ran through the United States in fear of terrorism. One of these scares was known as the Bin Laden itch. The Bin Laden itch was simply a rash that developed on a person a few days, for a few days, and then disappeared with little to no effects. Sounds like terrorism to me. During the 2001 anthrax scare, uh, this occurred only a month after the 9-11 tax, uh, rashes began to develop on young children, mostly girls, around the United States with no evidence of a potential cause. Sounds like terrorism to me. Soon parents became anxious that these rashes were caused by terrorism, logical conclusion, and they felt that Osama bin Laden was behind it. Schools around the nation were closed, and bioterrorists were suspected everywhere. Scientists began to uh, research, dermatologists, epidemiologists, and environmentalists began to search for all possible causes of these horrific no-symptom rashes. Uh, it was later discovered that the rashes were caused by pesticides, allergens, and insect bites, and in fact, some of the rashes had just been sandpaper uh, rubbed on the skin by students hoping their schools had closed. They were successful. Uh, this, uh, after these kind of embarrassing hysterical events, uh, in American society, we've become a little bit more cautious to, to jump to bioterrorism because the symptoms of bioterrorism are a little bit more uh, obvious and tragically painful. Uh, this can be compared to Arthur Miller's The Crucible because both, uh, of these situations of hysteria have been caused by mysterious events. Um, in The Crucible, it was witchcraft that they feared, and in regards to the Bin Laden itch, the uh, possibility of bioterrorism. Uh, both both groups were scared about something they couldn't control. So uh, in the Crucible, they they struggled to um, handle their issue because they couldn't control witchcraft. It's not an easy um, thing to identify, and it's really hard to prove. The Bin Laden niche bioterrorism is is not particularly visible. Um, really hard to control something like a rash that you don't know a whole lot about. Um, however, it's it seems as if you could look at the symptoms and, and then in the Bin Laden itch situation, the lack thereof, and uh, notice that it was not possibly bioterrorism. Uh, in the recent attacks of, on the Twin Towers and Pentagon after 9-11, the U.S. citizens were weary of, uh, and wary of those who appear to be Arabic or Muslim. The same can be said of the Crucible. The cities of Salem feed the idea of witchcraft and the presence of the devil within their town. The people of Salem began to accuse each other of being witches out of fear of the unknown. While no one was killed during the Bin Laden H hysteria, both scenarios uh, did did have uh, effects that were taken much out of context. Schools did not need to be closed regarding the itch, and, and people certainly need, didn't need to be hung for, uh, for supposed witchcraft. Uh, Abigail Williams simply feared the consequences of being found dancing naked in the woods, and, and when she confessed of taking part in witchcraft, she then used this uh, under underlying uh, theme of witchcraft to uh, destroy the the culture and the area uh, from which she lived. Uh, finally, these events would later not be able to stand. Uh, under their own weight due to the lack of evidence that was provided and the facts behind them which would later be revealed uh, in Salem uh, as well as in the Bin Laden itch as soon as scientific ev evidence proved that, that Osama Bin Laden literally could have had nothing to do with elementary school girls getting small rashes the stereo died out quick, pretty quickly so um, that's it if you have a small rash please report it uh, it might be Osama bin Laden, in all seriousness. Probably is.